When tested, it was definitely due to drinking because his blood alcohol level was three times over the limit. After that, he was charged with manslaughter, but due to Maryland not having that strict laws on drunk driving, he was only sentenced to five years in prison. First things first, have you adjusted your mirrors? All three of them. And I can see myself perfectly. P-R-N-D-L. I meant a child, Mosby. I know how to spell Prindle. The letters stand for Park Reverse Neutral Drive and Low. You're making me nervous. Mr. Mosby is one of the best characters from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. This character is played by actor Phil Lewis, who has a long history in Hollywood. But Phil has a secret from his past he's been trying to hide. He once killed a woman after driving wasted. Mr. Mosby, aka Phil, had 15 drinks and his alcohol blood level was three times the legal limit. So how did he get away with all this? Let's get into it. So we're going to be talking about Phil Lewis. He's an actor who's been working in Hollywood since the 1980s, but he's definitely best known for his roles in children's television. Oh, so I hear I don't really keep up on events I had nothing to do with. <laughs> don't even try it. Ah! I know everything! So yes, we're talking about Mr. Mosby, because once upon a time, he found himself in trouble. But if you don't recognize who Mr. Mosby is, he's a character from the show The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. He also appeared on the show Jesse, and he was a big part of Disney Channel's peak. At some point, they were getting about 45 million views a week, so a ton of children know who Mr. Mosby is. Besides, if memory serves, since your sister moved out, don't you have an extra bed? My sister didn't move out. Oh, that's odd. I distinctly remember you dancing around the lobby singing, My sister got a groom, I got my own room. What? <laughs> oh, that sister. Mm. So like I said, we know who this character is, and America loves him. But what we don't know is that he has actually killed someone in a drunk driving incident. Please take this video as a reminder to not drink and drive, because on December 28th, 1991, people were still in the Christmas spirit mood. Christmas just passed, the new year is about to begin, and Phil Lewis decided to go and hang out with some friends. He actually went to a bar and ended up drinking 15 alcoholic beverages, a bunch of beer, uh, some shots. It sounds like he was getting plastered. Phil had more than just a drunken night with his friends because he ended up in jail that night because he drove home after 15 drinks and he hit a woman named Isabel. Officers found that Phil's blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit, and he crashed into Isabel's car head on. He just decided to go right through a red stop sign and ultimately killed this 21-year-old girl. And there's no reason he should have driven home that night. I mean, at that point, when you've had 15 drinks, you should know better. And when he was approaching a stop sign, he made the choice to completely disregard it and just plow through and kill this woman. Let's talk a little bit about Isabella because she was living in the U.S. with her aunt and uncle. She's originally from Portugal and she was staying in the Washington, D.C. area taking care of children for several families. This is super traumatizing because Isabel recently moved to the U.S. and she was just hanging out with her friends that night when she ended up dying. They were watching movies and hanging out by the fire. There aren't any reports that Isabel was drinking. She was 21 at the time, but it doesn't sound like she was drunk. She was responsible, and unfortunately, she's the one who lost her life. When police and EMTs arrived on the scene, they found an unconscious Isabel and a bruised Phil Lewis, aka Mr. Mosby. The EMTs attempted to rescue Isabel, but it was too late, and she was pronounced dead at the scene. I like 
like what this article wrote, one stupid decision caused the death of a completely innocent person. From this incident, we can learn that life goes on and redemption is possible even after a terrible mistake. One tested it was definitely due to drinking because his blood alcohol level was three times over the limit. After that, he was charged with manslaughter, but due to Maryland not having that strict laws on drunk driving, he was only sentenced to five years in prison. Now let's talk about what happened to Mr. Mosby. What consequences did he face? Because, I mean, I grew up learning that you do not drink and drive. It's very illegal. So you would think that he was properly punished. But he was only sentenced to one year of prison time and 10 years of community service and some alcohol abuse treatment, which is probably a smart idea. But like a lot of Hollywood celebrities, Phil Lewis did not serve his full term. It actually turns out when he went to prison, he started working in the theater group and they performed in jails and schools and churches. So he really like acclimated once he got in there and the judge took note. The judge took four years off of Phil's sentence so he only had to go to jail for that one year and then two years of probation and community service. After this incident Phil went right back to work. He played Arnold Nixon on the TV show Hardball. He also had small parts on Sister Sister, The Drew Carey Show, Boy Meets World, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And as we know he went on to work with Disney and starred in the show The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. And that's where I learned who Phil Lewis was. First things first, have you adjusted your mirrors? All three of them. And I can see myself perfectly. No, 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 they're not for vanity. You're referring to the shift lever that says P-R-N-D-L? I meant a child, Mosby. I know how to spell Prindle. It is not something you spell. It is a gear shift. The letters stand for Park Reverse Neutral Drive and Low! You're making me nervous with all this technical talk! When it comes to this incident, it seems like Phil just wants to pretend it never happened, which I understand it's probably traumatizing, but he actually claims he completely forgot it happened, which I can understand like blocking out some memories, but he just completely forgot about it entirely. His lawyers put out statements claiming that he has no memory of the accident. Um, quote, he truly, truly had memory loss. Hmm. So, I mean, he was really drunk, like 15 drinks at the bar. The bar makes the drink so strong. He was probably so wasted. I mean, I'm not surprised if he didn't remember, but at the same time, like I've never gotten to the point where I like have been so drunk to where like, I don't remember. I mean, how would he even drive if he can't remember? Phil's father is actually a successful man, and he had to make a statement for his son to Isabel's family because I guess Phil Lewis wasn't going to do it. His father was quoted saying, My family and I deeply mourn the loss of Isabel, and we pray that her parents and family allow us to pay our respects and express our sincere sympathy in their time of grief. So Mr. Mosby's dad remembers this, but he doesn't. And I'm sure if he was asked about this today, he would like, you know, get up and walk out of the room because I think it's something that he doesn't want to address. And I think that's also part of the reason why people can't like get over it. Like there's always like a viral video talking about how Mr. Mosby killed someone. And that's because he's never shown proper remorse. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Here's my email. If you have any other video ideas for me, let's go ahead and open this PO box letter. It looks like it's Christmas themed. So I'm sorry I haven't opened it yet, but it's from um, Eric and he's from Georgia. Dear Sloan, this is 94E Jack again with another letter from one YouTuber to another. I am doing well and I hope you're doing the same. Like most people, we like music and that's the reason why I'm writing you. Oh, so it looks like you sent me a list of music to check out. I stapled this to a letter. It's a list. Um, the front list are YouTube channels, and then there are some music channels and composers on the back. Oh, cute. I love this. But I will try to link your YouTube channel below. So thank you so much. I really appreciate this letter, and I can't wait to go and check out all these people that you've listed. I wonder if I know any of them yet. I don't think I do, but thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys.